Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Salam Darut. Uh, it is a pleasure to be here with you, and I am proud uh, to be here at a time in which this is the last time that we will speak about your brothers and sisters being at risk uh, in Iraq, and we appreciate the government of Albania uh, giving them refuge. And so I am proud of what we did together. Uh, as you know, I have been pursuing Iran since I was in the House of Representatives and sitting on the House Foreign Affairs Committee and continuing that in the United States Senate years ago. And I would say to many of my friends who were focused on other issues in the world, why are you not focused on Iran? And I see my uh, distinguished friend and former colleague, Senator Lieberman, who uh, shared in so many of those issues uh, with me. And so uh, now we have an opportunity, I believe, uh, to counter Iran's continuing threats, because clearly just the nuclear accord, uh, even though in my view was not an accord that should have been uh, supported, and I was glad to see the Senate reinstate the sanctions that I authored, the Iran Sanctions Act, and a 99 to 0 vote to make sure that Iran has a very clear message that there will be consequences for violation of the agreement. I believe we need to go beyond that. This is a time to counter Iran's terrorism in the region and in the world, the largest state sponsor of terrorism. This is a time to challenge Iran as it relates to its missile proliferation. This is about Iran's violation of human rights in its own country. It is about destabilization in the region, in Yemen, and in the incredible human catastrophe that is Syria. And so Iran has not changed its course. It has not changed its designs. And it has not changed its hegemonic focus. This is a time for the United States to respond. And that's why I introduced the Countering Iran uh, Threat uh, Act with Senator Corker, the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee. I hope we can build upon that in the next Congress, uh, because if we do, uh, we can deter Iranian aggression. We can move into a better day and a better hope where the Iranian people can ultimately achieve the freedoms and blessings that we achieve here in the United States. That is my hope. That is my focus. And for as long as I'm a member of the United States Senate, that is what we're going to continue to fight for. Thank you so much for having me with you.